Welcome, Immortals. This is your Demon Lord, Drakaz. I apologize uh, for being a bit late to start. Uh, I had uh, some uh, Chinese uh, food uh, delivered and uh, was in a rush to uh, fish it. Which uh, you can actually check out to see what I got at, uh, over on my Twitter page. But anyway, uh, in addition to that, I also uh, made a Pateru version of myself, which actually did turn out kind of nice. So, oh, I did use a uh, reference to actually uh, make it. Yeah, anyway, but for right now, we are going to continue where we left off uh, for our Lost Belt 5 at the moment. And right now, we're at section 14, and we're kind of trying to make it to an island so that way we can actually make a bow and arrow to shoot down Armus. So that way, that's like one of the, the three main defenses to get to Olympus is out of the way. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Section 14. Suffering and pressure are life's relief. Oh, medicine for relief. I kind of wish they would make it longer so that way, uh, for like longer tiles. Sona has, has a contract attack. Looks like a now machine enhanced Namia. Lots of them. All servants on standby. Prepare to deploy the battle. Looks like we're facing the murder of all monsters now. But seriously? Oh, right. Achilles! Yeah? Paris has shown us what he can do, but you can't say, can't say the same. If you're really able to fight, then you should have any problem, have any problem providing it. Proving it to us, hmm. Master. What's up? Now that Jason said his piece, I want to know what you think. Huh? You're roping him into this too? Well, he is. All I am his master, after all, so. Oh, yeah, I am. I don't go around just serving anyone who barks oars at me. Yeah, I like to see you fight too. Guy, in that case, just sit back and enjoy the show. Huh. Feels weird to be floating on water, but it's nothing I can handle. Okay, kiddies, time to learn why I was renowned as the strongest hero of the Trojan War. Here I go. For the record, the strongest hero for the Trojan War, War was by, by brother Hector. Although, sadly, Hector is like the most well known out of them. Okay, let's see. Well, since we're forced to bring a type. Okay, let's see. That's them out. No, I kind of wish I got like, got a second copy of Achilles though. Guess that'd be kind of want to actually test them out for looping, but that way mine's like, it'd be one, so. Okay, let's see. Increase defense. Okay, and that's increase in key. Okay, so that's how you look with that support. <coughs> okay. Oh, guy, now. I mean, if I had plugs through or like mages, then this would probably be going a bit better. Oh, 
Oh shoot, I keep forgetting I need to switch out to Ricardo with uh, Super Ryan. Probably do that next. Alright. And done! Well, Master, what do you think? I might not be the at my best, but my speed and strength are still enough for the season, right? That was your best, really? <laughs> I'm not gonna... The second one sounds like a bit asinine, so... I mean, it was actually pretty good, so... Probably not perfect, per se, but yeah, pretty decent. Awesome. That's what I like to hear. Sorry about that. Huh? I mean, I wasn't all that hurt. What? I would have healed up on me. Oh, no. A little, a little. No, a lot. Anyway. But thanks, I appreciate it. Are you okay, Master? Just got a little dizzy. You see, Mr. Code, again, immediately after a battle really takes a lot out of you. Yeah, we're kind of dumbasses here for doing that, but... Oh, well, are you alright out there? Here, Sepai, lean on me. I'll take you back to your room. Hey, you got a minute? What's up, Ricardo? Well... Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, Blue. This is a flash. Hey, uh, got a minute? Sure, what's up? I just feel like having a chat never to master. Besides, I never finished my story. Oh yeah, I never did. Now see, that's the thing. I did fight just like I wanted to, but... Oh yeah. What's this? But before I got get back to my stupid antics, and I apologize the fast if I'm way off base of the line here, but do you think you might be a little over eager? No, wait, that's not clear at all, is it? Let me just, are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard or trying to act more positive than you feel? I ask because I can't help but notice when you healed the Kiwis earlier. You looked like you were pushing yourself way too hard, especially after you're already tired, tired for fighting. Even I'm uh, working up the courage to ask the fishy about it. And she said you usually don't heal service after battle like that at all. Though it sounds like before, you usually had a pretty good idea when to save your strength and when to go all out. So I guess we're not, uh, at this point, we're not going, like, uh, off on our own adventure any, pretty much anymore. It's like, pretty much giving Riska, like, his own identity separate from us. Well, if, if something changed, I'm sure there's a reason. It might not really be my place of prey. But if it's okay with you, maybe we could talk about it. Uh, we might have uh, something in common. Urgency, huh? Hmm. So that's why you haven't been acting like yourself. Uh, sorry if that's why I about to say is kind of rude. Like I told you before, I'm supporting character in The Legend of Charlemagne. And sure, there's uh, some stories that focus on my personal exploits. But the end, I'm just an adversary there to be defeated. So if I'm really just strong enough to make a battle compelling, that's it. Hell, the only reason I'm a rider is because I stole a horse more famous than me. Big, uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Right to low. What is his name? Hopefully I pronounced that right. If it wasn't uh, for uh, that story, I might not have ever summoned at all. Basically, um, you see, uh, saying that's a week of years and what I'm going through. <laughs> I love how they had to make that super small so that way we can have it all fit in the box. Oh, well, uh, yeah. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't usually act 
think you, you're weak. Ain't no match this neither. But as to here, what the hell of an inferiority complex? Well, let's just say, recognizes like me, recognizes like, uh, I knew it. I guess my intuition is not completely useless after all. That our master, Christina, right? No way. Not even a little. That's the master. That guy's just like me. He's nothing special at all. When you're really strong, you can live your life as ego eloquently, and you never have to make your any hard choices. When you attacked us, I was nearly knocked out cold and almost taken out of commission for good. But you kept your wits about you, and above all, you survived. That's what I call amazing. Listen, a guy like me, I never measure up to the likes of Achilles or Hercules. Now, while I would wish it was the case, I don't think I can even beat Rodrigo, no matter how many times I fight him. And as for why that is, well, it's kind of a long story. Went on an adventure. I swore I was going to become a hero of the likes, which has never been seen before. One of the tales of uh, daring do so blazing that they make the old world gap spin off. I traveled near and far, and long last I found the secret sword I've been looking for. But you essentially stole it, Mercado. Yep, you have no more rightful claim to it than a stray dog to a dead man's bones. What's an incredible award I finally find at the end of my adventure? All I did was gnash something and love crazy night through away, like a dog rooting through the dumpster. Rowan had thrown Grindhall away, and I'd taken it for myself. I did run into some trouble when I found it, but that didn't matter. They say it was no different than if I had saw it. Once I defeated Zerbino and uh, and won the sword from him. I went around bragging about being the hero who had it all. And I was so, so hooked up on the excitement of getting the legendary sword for myself, I didn't think twice, twice about it. As for what happened next, well, I think I'll give you the short person. The last to Brian Mate's lover, Rodrigo. I was wearing Hector's armor, wielding Grindald, and I still couldn't beat him. Sure, Rodrigo was a hell of a hero, and he did have a diamic sword, but there's no doubt my weapon was better. I think it was probably why I didn't bring that sword with me when I was summoned as a servant. Because in exchange for that sword, I'd given up something I shouldn't have. Something important. Give up his own sword. Gotcha, when, well, then what, it's worth embarrassing myself. Anyway, get back to the main point. Just to be totally clear, I we never once fought you as a were a third way. But in spite of that, you're still taking yourself as powerless. Or that you got to do something anything to prove that you got what it takes. Well, you're just a plain wrong. Uh no, not that. It's not what I meant. I meant you already more than proved it. You being here staying with us, servants, the decisions you make. Maybe if you can't help but think everybody, everything you do is for Ray at best. We, I have nothing but respect for it. Hell no! Thanks, my girl. I'll feel better now. Sure thing. I'm glad to hear that. If you've been housed at a much window and guy gonna cheer me up as supposed to up, well, I've jumped straight into the, my spirit form and never look back. Good point. You wouldn't, would you? Ah, oh, crap. I probably should be distracted with you, seeing how you are my master at all. It's so, you know, improper and stuff. Well, okay, if you assist, but it still doesn't make, seem right to me. I mean, being frank, this is with each other. It's usually something reserved for friends and such. Oh, you're a server. You're on Mac. We've become a friend. Friends? But, 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 but I'm like this multi-awkward downer. 
and a third rate servant and a bad guy. At least for as far as some side is concerned. If you go wrong, call me your friend. People are gonna start throwing rocks at you and stuff. Uh, it's to break it to you, buddy, but I already have someone throwing rocks at me before you even came along in my shot yet. Yeah, I don't think that will be an issue. <laughs> ah, that's that's right. If I forget this is Master's most enduring quality is the way he gets along with pretty much everyone. So of course he go along with being friends if I suggested it. Ricardo? Oh yes, I mean okay, I hear you. Then uh, I guess from now on you and I are officially friends. Although, in that case, I'd probably be weird if I called you Master, huh? Just call me Dragonstock. Well, I think that I'll still have to go with Master in battle as such. Or, well, seriously, throw me off, but... Okay, then. In general, I'll call you, uh... Dragonstock. From now on. Just don't blame me if you regret this later. Yeah, I won't. Alright, if, if you're sure... Someone oh, does throw rocks at you, and his name is Jaxer. Uh, what about more drift, though, Jaxer? And welcome, and how's it going? <laughs> okay, Trick on Sock, make sure you stay warm and get put to your sleep, okay? Great. Now that I sound more like a, a parent than a friend. Rose Rocks. <laughs> hey, that's, that's more drift stop. No, more drift. You too. Uh, good night. Yeah, he froze rocks. He froze beers at me. <laughs> he, he even froze Jackie yet sometimes. I think we're going to speak very well tonight. Nick, maybe I should make that an emote. Just Jackie throwing rocks at me now. I mean, Nick, it's, I mean, I know Jackie has been used for just about everything, but I don't think she's been used for that, so. Actually, let's check to see what, uh... Yeah, it feels awful doing that. Well, it's a good thing. It's like, there's not gonna be much to do, like, next year, though. Oh, well, next year we do technically have, uh... Two wasps to do. One of them's like only a vet though. Oh wait, actually, uh, scratch that. Never mind. It's actually three lost spells. My bad. 5.2 is in April. And then it's 5.5 .5 towards like the end of the year. And then, oh, and also don't forget, Jake, we also have uh, 4.5 too. The one with uh, that features the foreigners. Ever since that day, I felt never to stop loving hen eyes for as long as I live. Oh, come on, game! Give us some context! I want to know why he's just into this whole... This whole bang fetish. But for... That was quite a tale of adventure, wasn't it, Master? Yeah, I'm trying too hard to speak because I missed the whole shit! Here, you can just use this hanky. Although, you know, this is quite the adventure we're on right now, too. Anyway, there's never experienced anything like this back when I was alive. This may be appropriate for me to say, but having a great deal of fun. Yeah, but then again, he does have a very good fetish there. It's like, you definitely can see it, but, uh... He kind of takes it a step too far. 
I see, that's a relief. And heck, I, I think of it. I do know there are people that actually have a fetish for balloons too, so. And things that probably, yeah, will probably, like, probably give me a TLS issue, but. No, I do have, or fetishes, I do have a fucking like, fetish for like bells and stuff. Usually, we only get a single li life to live. That's so on time adventure. And just. Oh, wait, hang on. It's alright. Hmm. You know, if it's not too improper of me to ask, what is you guys really want to do here? Oh, and don't mean the obvious things like defeating the lost bell and helping Master save the world. Oh, yes, and it because I'm pretty sure uh, Sol didn't shut up about how he would the maybe become some level. He would burn him every time he comes into uh, Shadia. I mean, the other personal oh, kind of things, if you have uh, any, I figured sharing them would be good to add to, to the fun. I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, definitely do want to be useful to Master. If you're talking about things that are for that, right? You were assigning him as he read part of the story. God damn it. I don't remember that part. I need to probably check that. Exactly, the more the selfish the bear in this case. For example, in my case, I was hoping to get to meet the beautifully hidden eyes of the love of my life. Gotcha. If nothing else, you definitely know what you, you like, don't you? Although, speaking of insults, it's like, I had like last fun last night and insulted by stream team member Emu when I was on uh, my friend uh, Yuki's, uh, Yuki's chat. It's like he's a fellow, but, but, but uh, basically we were like playing Jackbox and like making like lewd stuff about Emu. It's like, got it. It's like, still hilarious. Like, I don't know if I can probably can put it to words like how like ridiculous we just went like just roasted every second. Let's see, what do you want? This is tougher than I thought. My wish is to make new friends and I just can't be myself with that kind of really come true, so. It did? Does that mean you're now, now friends with Orion and Achilles? Nah, nothing like that. These guys are just colleagues. Anyway, I remember now. I want the same thing I always wanted to be a great knight. Oh, that's a surprise. You may be a, a pro pro portrayed as a villain in the Legends of Charlemagne, but I was under impression you really want, are already a fully fledged knight who have been on Grand Officials. Well, I guess it did accomplish that. I could be all humble and say something like, oh, it wasn't that big of a deal. No, 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 it's a, that's not good enough. I'm gonna stick with mine to become a great knight. Hmm, I see. Well, I've seen you as a, as your hen, Eyes, oh god, you're in I step this E rank. I don't think you'll have any words of recursion from me. Oh, it's looks like it's almost him with that one bang right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what's hidden I step? Not by you, Miss Crade. If you could do any in this world, what would it be? Hmm. I don't think I should be free to do... I should be free to do whatever I want. Nope. Well, that's a unique perspective, and why do you think that? Is it obvious? The whole reason I end up as a service is because I fought freely. That's... It looks like Masters already knows what I'm talking about. I don't have any accomplishments to speak of. I never achieved anything great like Drake, or never had any stories that told to me like Jason. Never had any adventures like Macaros, and I never a figure myth like Orion. I'm just a dumb assassin who just committed a single murder that didn't amount to anything useful. I thought about what I could be in my do on my own, come up with a plan on my own, and try to help save my country on my own. But right for all, I end up being completely meaningless. I'm dumb, empty-headed assassin. That's how I'll ever be. So don't have any right to decide for myself now that there's no point in ever being alive. Oh, Charlotte. I mean, yeah, you're killing the guy in the bathtub. Did it probably help? Yeah, she killed the killed the guy in the bathtub that was writing a bunch of extremist rhetoric. That was like, I mean, 
encourage people to commit a lot of violence while the French Revolution was happening and back during the the reign of terror and then she killed him hoping that it would put a stop to it yeah all it did was make the guy in the bathtub of Mar and then it basically caused everybody to go even more batshit crazy I don't agree with that why not I overheard some strange things being said while I was uh, saying in Ocean's Curse, so I'm gonna cut in. But that's all it took to negate the point of living. There's none to bar from or me being an eye fire. I'm pretty sure the conceptual being nothing more than a phantom spirit made, made of a mix of a rook and the fine sparks. You can how many of these stories I know? As far as we're hated, hey, this is accomplished as well. Terrible. <laughs> I can agree, argue with that. It's true, I made no contributions to the meme history as whatsoever. If you claim to be the most noble pirate, that was all that idiot Blackbeard's doing. And now the pirate service all much more interesting stories to tell than I do. You can tell how many of these stories you know. <laughs> They and Bonnie and Mary Reed. They're nothing if not um, memorable, right? A lot, just like that. There's no point in my existence either. Don't be silly. D those things are going to be more different. No, Miss Grande. When you get right down to it, they're exactly the same. He's right. Ultimately, there's no point in most people's lives. Indeed. But it was this or not, I'm very grateful that you did. Woo, woo. Yeah, because you get to have a sit by to have a crush on Mash. How about you, Jason? Where do you stand on this decision? What? What do you. You mean you think I think there is any meaning to life? What kind of boring question is that? I'm just a matter of. Just a matter of which point of your life you decide to look, look at. It's only worth moving ahead with life if there's some some great meaning to your existence. And conversely, if there isn't any meaning to your existence, does that mean you should just die? Because if that were the case, all of human humanity besides me would have gone extinct a long time ago. Did you just really said, I think what you said? Yeah, although, I think uh, Charlotte might be more like uh, taught in like uh, French schools. <laughs> you can bow, bow to me now. Yes, sir. Are you nuts? Why would you actually listen to him? Well, I don't really know what he's talking about, but it's never really wise. Damn it, you're even more gullible than I thought. <laughs> Hi, um, Apollo here. I think you, what you mean to say was pure innocence. Do you even know how to make your to make yourself useful? <laughs> so somebody else did what I wasn't able to, huh? Yes, you may be right. In that case, what's the point in our even being here? Maybe life doesn't have me. Maybe, maybe it's, we just need to figure out what is mean for ourselves, huh? Is it? Yeah, no, we can, yeah. I'm sorry, my mind isn't still trying to process what you said. So life doesn't have any meaning? And this pain I feel is normal? Yeah, beside all that, our meaning like this is exciting? Even though there's no point in my existence, that doesn't mean that it's wrong for me to be here? Of course not. Man, I wish Olga didn't have to die. She didn't. I mean, things would definitely be really dragly different if uh, Olga Marie was still alive. Uh, 
Oh, there's all the like the mean uh, servants. From each singularity, a lost spell here. I see. Though you met lots of different people and had to say goodbye to most of them. And even though you must have been through a lot of hardships, you're still able to smile like at that, that. Can I ask you something? You remember when we first met? Never taught you about the Trojan War, Jason and Argonauts, the Gods of the Olympics. Yeah, that was like more for like media stuff. That's right for me though. Although I do remember my dad was like getting pissed off at uh, the Rise of the Argonauts game that we got for like the PlayStation 3. He ended up turning it to the store after like he wasn't really impressed with the ending. And it was like he used copy too. And he's like, so that's why people just returned it back to the store. I remember when I was so overcome with emotion, I cried. Never once had any use for anyone. Not then when I was like, nor after my death. So when it, something comes useful for you, that was the first time I ever did something useful for the world. That got me thinking of whatever I deserve to be part of something wonderful. That's when I, I started crying. I thought the service of your life was and will have meaning. Yeah, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm sorry. I'm just spacing out a bit. Thank you, Master. I really love you. <laughs> what? What? Huh? I I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I just mean um. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, great, uh, great master. Somebody I really respect. Oh, I see. Oh, Mash is getting... Was going to pick Breen there for like three seconds. Mash is cute, Amy blood kicking in. Oh God. That reminds me, J6 actually sent me a picture of uh, Kyu Hime as a MILF with uh, her dar. Like first, goddamn, Kyu Hime is hot as a mom. And second, her dar is like really, really cute and adorable. And, yeah, I completely agree. I'm very proud to have Drakasak as my master. Whoa, Derek! If you're going to have a lover's quarrel, take it to the Argo. No a lot of that sort of thing here on the Royal Fortune. Then you it. Third thing, huh? What's that? Because unsightly squabbles like that I always end up reducing the hidden eyes of the purity levels. I don't allow lover's quarrels on the Argo either. You know why? Because the increase do we do erratic in nature? Is I turned him out to asking for death. Trust me. I mean, he's not wrong. You got basically screwed over like Medea. I can tell you speak from painful experience. Anyway, that's enough chit chat. It won't be long until we reach our destination now. Yeah, it was his fault. <laughs> Let's go and get ready to this bark master. Miss Verday? Oh, please don't call me Miss. I apologize, Lady Verday. I just wanted to say that it was quite the front you put up there. Hmm? You're very perspective, aren't you, Barfamo? Well, I expect to have a big leg up, uh, up on the most when it comes to things of this sort. That said, you weren't exactly hard to read. You'd think I'd regret if I didn't say anything? Regardless of barring's and intrinsic part of life, Lady Corday, especially now we're servants, life really doesn't go the way you want it to, does it? Not even when you get a second chance at it. I see, did I take in my suspicions were on the mark? I say, they were right on the money, damn it. Uh.
Okay. And now to remember to switch over. Okay, I'm gonna need a... Okay, what's the gong at? Okay, well, get Paris out first, then we'll go back to the gong. Much as I don't want to do this because of the fact that we eat apples. Yeah, although once of course it's adult Medea, then uh, basically she just wants a basic wants to torture him to death. No hostiles detected in the nearby Paris Island. No signs of Artemis in nearby orbital space ever. All right, all hands, prepare to make land. Okay, well we'll be making the divine crush rock for Orion instead of of Achilles, which we originally planned. But that shouldn't affect the origin process too much, one way or another. Far from up, you just stay behind and watch the ship as usual. Paris, I want you to do the same. And for reading the story, you kind of want Nemo. Well, thankfully Nemo is going to be permanent, so... And it releases next year, too. I take it to ships around the other side of the island. I'm ready to ride for his, with us there. You got it, leader. We'll work with the Nemos to keep the Argo safe. Don't have to worry about us. Hi again. I'll be staying behind with the ship this time. Here's the container for all the NAM machines. Please make sure you use this to collect the Hephaestus and Cardinoramia once you find it. Will do. Yeah, he should be. There. Heck, uh, let me check just to make sure. Evans, class, better. Yeah, he's permanent. Okay, just a please with uh, no sign of trouble anywhere, huh? I don't like it. This is the exact sort of moment when unforeseen disaster tends to strike. But I guess there's nothing I can do now except for pray for fortunate smiles upon them. Oh, they worked. More or less poor guards. You think you've seen this? No, from what I've observed, their patrol routes appear to be restricted in standard range. They received word that we were coming here to see Lord of Pestis. Why is it uh, Caster Da Vinci, Ryder Da Vinci, and Gnomes Primnit? I don't know, you have to ask the White Works that. Because now that's just, now that I'm thinking it, it is kind of bizarre the art. I imagine that they would uh, be far more efficient right now. They are most likely simply deploying these cars to every island in the vicinity. The new Lord of Festus was here. The security detail was sir with the Oh, excuse me. I guess that means we'll just have to take care of them, huh? Any quick moving dynamic beast here probably doesn't look like it. Okay, let's do this. Got it. Wait, let's see what Pest is out there, everyone. Whoa, 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 what happened to you? I've never seen yourself fire up before. I just decided that from now on I'm gonna focus on completing the task and whatever it takes. All right, let's do this. Ah, Jake, it's Jake. Vaga, 
Yeah, I think I saw you were like on Twitter like it too. Oh god. <laughs> oh, you got two? Uh, female and the male person or... Yeah, I oh, one power room, so... <laughs> no, I probably need to see if I'll probably wear it to pay as well. Put up the power room for my profile pic. <laughs> Oh, gotcha. Okay, one more should get uh, Paris up through the Ramon. That takes care of them. But it doesn't take long for Odysseus to make for you to realize that. That we're here once they fa fail to report in. That said, it probably won't be. We won't get get there that quickly. Don't say that things like that. You will only fight disaster. All human history, fate has never been kind to those who are overly up, up, overly optimistic of their estimates. Okay, you'll DM them to you. Gotcha. Damn it, you're right. And if as if to prove the point, you're reminded. So that you inspire my brain to flash back to the worst memories of my life simultaneously. We need to hurry. Tell me, McCarl, you've already been infused with uh, Hephaestus' criminal mania, right? Does that mean you can tell where the temple is once we get close enough? Yes, we should be able to. But this island is also bigger than I believe. Yeah, right now all I can say that we can vaguely tell is on the other side. And I say that I suppose there's nothing to be done but start looking for it. First one's more detailed, but you like how colorful the second one. Oh, gotcha. You forget something. What about the labyrinth? It's guarded by the mentor, right? So, so it won't attack us if we go unprepared. Yeah, where are we gonna get uh, the alter version of that guy, Mysterios? Hmm? I, I don't think we need to worry about that either. Sounds like he's. Uh, there's a sad story there being a diary. I'm, this, I can tell this is a good time to keep my mouth shut. Well, if you say so, I'll take your word for it, but we should always take uh, some friend with us. Then again, maybe there won't be much point in this, it's probably breaking easily. But there is Fred won't win it. And it was a specific woman imbued with a fair man's prayers, so sure that it would never break no matter what. Then if I pray hard enough, that means I could make Airdane's bed too? Since we are over here, our. When are you a bear or a mate? Don't go there, Jason, unless you're really eager to bleed. Oh, <laughs> God, God. A second fight. I'm a drama guy. Back up previously from that landmine. Yeah. Dude. If one thing you want to be careful of is don't, don't question whether or not a woman has been a mean or a bear. Yeah, I don't think that's a good gonna work, uh, Grande. The reason that Andre's prayers are so effective is because she loved the sisters as by your soul. If they haven't proved they had the power of love on her side, this is when never been able to follow the friend all the way to the back of the exit. I usually scoff at that, but I can't deny that love does have a lot of uh, cursed power, especially in Greece. Uh huh. Yeah, I suppose that won't work. Certainly not with a woman who never fell in love when she was alive. Can't argue with that. <laughs> yeah, that's saying you're taking a bit too far, Jason. Hey, that's part of being a hero is the courage and to face the unpleasant troops. Don't be fooled, Master. It doesn't mean he's just uh, spinning out the first believable but attitude that comes to his mind. Coming up with a convincing thing to, to say on the spot is also part of being a hero. You could at least pretend to feel bad. That's enough out of you, Greek heroes. And I mean it. Aren't you a Greek hero, though? 
Damn it, I wish I could sacrifice you to exchange for summoning Hercules back. Well, you can't. Come on, don't you think you're being... Think that'll be waste of a perfect good hero right here? Oh. The one thing about you, Dad, is to pass this Hercules in any way. My good locks! You and I have been both got you beat there. Yeah, talk about endless play there. <coughs> I sleep. I agree. After all, no one, no two people would always agree about what constitutes the skin looks. This is so stupid. Thank you, Jake. Now, I wish he, we brought Paris along. He's better looker than all of them. I'm surprised you got so much respect for the guy who killed you. Oh, crap. Sorry, I didn't mean to say it out loud. Oh, absolutely. It took a lot of courage for him to take up that bow and to kill me. I respect him for it. Not that I can say so when he's around, since he's always taking bot shots at me. Yeah, definitely. Has something happened with you, Master Mikarl? You seem closer to him somehow. Kind of. Really, that's all you're gonna say? <laughs> so, your friend, so I'm, I'm kind of jealous. Man, that was really coming big green this uh, stream, isn't she? Maybe it would help if I get closer to too. If I try speaking more informally myself, would that be okay? Oh yeah, it would. S speaking from a lifelong romantic, I guarantee it. <laughs> yeah. Probably not the best advice there. And if you want to get closer to me while you're at it, that's so totally fun. Okay, too. Then again, it's easier said than done. Well, you're not even listening me to, are you? I guess she's lost her own thoughts right now. Listen to that, I we're always very particular about ensuring that we spoke politely. After all, it was very hard to unlearn a life of habits that like that overnight. What are we gonna do? Oh. Master, I can see a hunter in, off in the distance. Perhaps we should try asking him where, where we can find the labyrinth. Yeah, it looks like our own choice. Then I will try speaking to him casually and see... So that he does not think it's suspicious. Hi there! Whoa, who are you? So much to that, man. I'll go too to try to move things out. The ladder fly would you would you go there? It's her job to go investigating the rooms of that nature. Uh uh-huh. Well, there might be one old man back in the village who knows where it is. Really? That would be a great help. Come with me, I'll show you to the way. We've heard rumors that Wadford's monster is no longer there. Do you know if that's already true? <laughs> First I heard that. Wait, really? The Lavras monster's gone now? I was kept my spirits told me to stay away from there unless I wanted it to be eaten. Some people went to check it out for themselves and never returned. And now the, the nameless monster's dead, huh? Never thought I would see that coming. Sorry, nameless? Oh, I think it used to have a name at some point, but we forgot it ages ago. I mean, why would we need to know it? It's not like we ever gonna go near the thing anyway. First there he is. I see. Then none of you will ever fight to try to vanquish this monster? Your armor board is stronger enough to handle the Amic Beast, thanks to your Theos uh, Pro Ramana. But how come none of you ever fought to uh, kill the Labyrinth monster to make a name for yourselves? Why would we want to do that? Well, you know, to be heroes or something? Are you not talking a bunch of exiles like uh, ever become heroes? Um, when you say exiles, you mean you were exiled from Olympus? Yeah, that's right. They say we had bugs or something like that. So we got kicked out. So it would be wrong of us to become heroes. Can I ask, ask you something too? That mean you knew where... Knew there was a monster in the lab for Father's time, but you never tried to kill it, right? Weren't you scared of knowing it, could, it was out there? That it could come out and attack your village and attack what? What else could, could we do? A god made a monster, so we have no business killing it. Gotcha. Okay, there's a village over there. Wonderful, thank you. Go on ahead then. 
Let's see, there's something very bland about these people. That Arma said the same thing along those lines too. That's where something about them is fundamentally different from us. For better or worse, there is definitely a people like that in the proper human history too. People who unquestionably accept that they have been given and settled down without attempting to push things forward. Honestly, they were probably just a majority. It was a much easier way to live after all. People like that uh, aren't the type to embark on a trust quest just so, so they can come home to with a gold place. But at least you know they're trying to drag down your or bam out you. That much I appreciate. I don't know if I agree with that. Does the fact that none of them ever say anything mean or try to drag us out mean that they don't even feel such a basic emotion such as frustration or envy? Indeed. The people of Atlantis have gone down a very different path from proper human ministry and from the people of the Indian Lost Belt. I have no doubt that their lives are peaceful and content. They lived for hundreds of years. I suspect most of them have ever caught so much as the cold. Because of Thea's Pre Ramana, the general purpose of Namish is they have been given to stop every germ and virus in his track. They spend many, many days tilling their fields, tending their livestock, and hunting while again protecting the village from the Amicris and worshipping Olympus. Simple life, to be sure. The people of the Chinese Lost World have had forgotten their culture because it was taken away, but these people have abandoned civilization and wicked their exile. No, that's not quite right. There's more like there's simply no need for them to develop their civilization further. I see. I also doubt that the civilization poses any form of sacrifice on its people, unlike the proper human history. It tends to bow ahead regardless of who or what might be obstructing its path. That being said, we we have thus far seen how these exiled Latias view these worlds. Whereas the people who lived in Olympus were near the top of the tree of Epheus may be up. They think separately. Okay. You will fight with the pen, make a snitch during the scenario. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Hun, you're back! I'm sure I am. I come to bring bring all the meat you could ask for. And who are these folks maybe? They said they're here to investigate the labyrinth. You pick a servants to soul with. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, okay, what about it that you're looking to investigate? Well, you know, this and that. Even though you're still young and small, you're this, you poor thing. I can't believe you still have to go around investigating labyrinths where you could be more than a hundred years old. Uh, <clears throat> well, that, what can I say? On my own, it's customary to be working in one's adolescence. Let me suggest based on the server you pick. Gotcha. Anyway, don't laugh, Rafa. Now, where was it again? I'm guessing the old man. Gain notes with no. I remember him saying he went there way back then. When? Hmm, let's see. I think uh, he knows. Should uh, definitely uh, be living in the oldest uh, house in the village. Although I'm not sure if he is even still alive, to be honest. That old, huh? Was he like a thousand? The lover? Where would you want to go somewhere like that? You do know there's a monster in there, don't you? Oh, yes, sir. There's nothing to worry. We're quite capable of handling care of monsters. All we need to know is how to get there. So if you have a map or something in the store, we will be very shop. You know, the, the way you talk, all that stuff and all, it's weird. Weird? Chase us over the corner and not just step on the Well, whatever. This is the map idea I used back when I went. So I don't blame me if the roads have changed since then. I just send it to you then. Um, yes, that would be. I, I mean that's fine. Gosh, I haven't said that like this in forever. 
Because there's literally no name winner just out here loving our lives. Can you not use this function energy to give me a people with far, far away? Why would I need to do that when everybody I want to talk to is right here? I sure don't know, know anyone on a far off island. Good, but it doesn't mean that you uh, won't be able to get along or have like have fun with talking to them. It would be one thing if I used, we used to communicate with the gods. That would be truly a blessing. But there's no point in forming networks between ordinary humans. Hmm, I suppose you are. I mean, I suppose you're right. Come on. He knows. It's uh, almost time to, to eat. I know. I'll be right there. All right. It's, that's all I got to you. Thank you for your help. That would be invaluable. These people really do not, I mean, don't, don't have any ambitions to do that. Yeah, I think it sounds like I'm going through. You really think so, Master? Whoa, 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 come on, Master. He's just trying to stand out. Nobody from here is, most of the modern times wouldn't actually talk like they, that otherwise. How oh, rude. How if you know that there are plenty of other people from my kind who spoke in this matter? Whoa, a whole bunch of... You know she's... Talking like dictionaries? <laughs> At any rate... I was saying that these people truly do not have any... Anything in the way of ambitious or for over. That's just what happens when people send their whole lives with... Their whole lives without any kind of technological revolution. When I, when life now looks exactly the same as it did ten thousand years ago, of course they'll lose all appetite for it. At least it's very peaceful as a way to live. Why? Because the people haven't moved past the paying on the gods. No, Lord Jason, for someone born in the age of gods, you certainly do not like them very much. You wouldn't either if you grow grown up there. Although I have to say. We're, we're talking about this last spell of proper human history. Knowing the 12 Olympians were robots makes a lot of sense. Explains why their way of thinking was always so in incredibly inhuman. Huh? I thought the Greek gods were famous for being, you know, all too human. Yes, and their models were definitely human, but the conclusions arrived at. The way they generally conducted themselves were all instinctively inhuman. For example, some scholars believe, believe they started the Trojan Road to bet out the human population after they decided there were too many of us. Yikes. I don't know if that's true or not, but I would be all the surprised if it was. And let's not forget that this that this lost about the same couple of years that dirt all the way up to the present day. Although, I think it's mostly Aphrodite's fault for why the Trojan War happened in, in terms of gods. There again, also Athena and Hera is like, and some way because it's like all started over like a stupid beauty contest between who was like the most beautiful goddess. I'm sure there's even minor gods that live anywhere from a few hundred to a few thousand years here. You know, that reminds me of something. Well, it may be different to degrees. You said the Greek gods were robots in both here and in proper history, right? But the five spirit based services that we're not met. Like Ariel, for example, all look like your ordinary humans. So if the 12 Olympians are robots, why aren't the gods who served them robots as well? Right, for instance, Orion, besides your fire, father, right? Yeah, he is. But I get the feeling I never actually met him back when I was alive. Hmm, I suspect this may be very similar to the way it's evolved for the world. For example, one already knows that the gods which emerged from the concepts of nature across various lands were ing integrated into Greek mythology. So while I can't be sure this is due to the 12 Olympians themselves or the faith of their worshippers, my experience says that in this case that the severed gods would take the form of humans and animals. After all, these robotic gods clearly come from another planet altogether and they're are wholly foreign nature. 
Even so, where the most of them missing ended up missing the forms of these severe guys who were similar to 12 Olympians? I mean, it happens all the time, right? When every god from a different slant's mythology is changed into a hideous monster, their form ends up in changing after the fact to match. But why would that happen to God be made subservient to one of these robots? The Wimpies may have wished to avoid appearing completely alien to their worshippers. After all, rather than doubt that there was anything else uh, in all of Asia Greece in any way similar to them. So the fact that Orion looks completely inhuman despite being beside the sun is most likely. Yeah, I think you're right. The Triton side of me still remembers what Poseidon looked like. But I think that's only because he gave Triton a special treatment since he entrusted him to defend the sea as his successor. Whereas I don't think he thought of his uh, children who lived on land as anything more than familiars. Yeah, good point. Now that I think of it, I don't actually know a single thing about my old man. Probably might be a good thing. Imar was a lesser god, and like completely human. Although, it did, that is that my parents were separating me because of inconceivable differences. Well, it's suffice to say, I think there's one face that sums up it perfectly. The gods are crazy. Yeah. Man, I'm glad I never had any divinity of my own. Anyway, we're here now. There's nobody else here. There isn't. Is there? What's the meaning of this? I mean, you're expected to be at least a few guards around this island. Temple by now, right? And there's no way the villagers would have to told them where to find it. Do you just suppose where that monster was in the labyrinth might have been eating them? That seems highly unlikely. Nope. From everything we've been told, the Hebrew side sleep within the labyrinth. Even here in this last spell. More concisely, there's no signs of a struggle here. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Should we, we leave someone on lookout or should we just all go in together? Yeah, let's probably just go all go in together. It's like split ups is a bad idea. But well, no, you should speak up so directly. All right, we'll go with that then. All right, then let's go in. Okay. Cypher looks like the one we saw in Orkeanus. Guess that means that the story about Dionysus building it to the contain the Minotaur is pretty much the same here. Though it seems that Lord Dionysus' name was never recorded in this last of us lost in Dungeons. Okay. Guessing we will lose comms right about now. Huh? What's that? Because that's what the records from Arcanada said. Yes! Get too deep and then they're like, they can't meet the single. This is where we met Asterios and Ariel. It was quite the ordeal, wasn't it? What is it, Jason? It looks like your head's about to split open. Let's just say all my memories of Arcanada's are extremely, extremely bad ones. <laughs> no, no. I think this is your chance to, for a new beginning. In my case, my records say once we are about to call myself an assassin of Periso, because no one is havoc. But anyway, I even tried to enhance master by saying, like, shall I keep you company for a night? I have to say, I'd be interested in trying myself. Myself at some point. <laughs> no! Boy, killed. I see. I do apologize for that name match, although I'm afraid I was out of my hands. I cannot help but I am too beautiful for this world. <laughs> uh, oh god damn, she sounds mashed as Terry Green. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Shielder. There's as many fish as there are stars in the sky. I failed to see how that's supposed to help me out. Not worried, Jason. Whoop, we got the epic geese. Damn, there's more than I thought there'd be. They're coming in both behind and in front of us. 
I got toy 60 all to carry. I see, it looks like the Mentor's really gone. There's no way that he would let this many weekly sync up in the residence of the otherwise. Yeah, they're way worse around it. <laughs> he might be surrounded. But it's gonna take more than way more than a bunch of weeklies to to challenge me. Oh, in that case, alright. What do you say a little contest? Sounds good to me. I'll give you a AI cap to make sure you up for your turn. Don't worry about that. I don't think my immortal body to take care of these chaps. So what would be? Whoever kills the most wins? Whoever kills the most is the fastest. You're on! Good. You guys are sure you can win, then I can relax and get some sunlight. Wake me up when you're done. I can't believe it. You're actually lying down to sleep? Master, you can handle the picking the formation. Can you match that much? No, no. Good. Here they come. Where are yours, Master? Yeah, I'll have a kill stick to front. Got it. Let's do this. See. Oh yeah, she, she has that. for the Minotaur thing. I do remember it's like there was was a king and a queen and then like the king did something to really piss off the god so the curse his wife to fall in love with his prize bowl. So she can miss it. And uh, basically to uh, build like a statue of a bowl. Like a suit of the bull if that's gonna have it. Uh, and so that way the bull would actually meet with her and then she came pregnant with uh a stereo says for Saul. But once the king found out, he was fucking pissed. In fact he ordered like uh He had the four Dionysus to uh, make a labyrinth and then Afterwards, afterwards, uh, he basically imprisoned him and his son Icarus inside it. Well, clever for like the Minotaur, but then also built a tower too, which basically Daniel and his son Icarus was in prison. So he tried to escape uh, with uh, some. Black wings and feathers from uh, along with twigs that from birds that actually came flying by. However, uh, Icarus, who's supposed to sun, even though his dad told him that not fly too low to the ground because moisture would break it apart, or fly too high, then it would melt the wax. It had to be like a about its equilibrium until they like reach the, the ground. Two. 
So he flew too high, oh, fell to to his step, even though there was white wire, it was Oh, double bond up. Okay. There you go, that's the last of them. Ah, oh, damn it! Looks like I won both speed and skill and kills. Got a problem with that? No, I don't. Come on, Master, can't you give me some more, Sue? Sorry, keep track of two battle fronts at once. <laughs> Looks like, like you still have to uh, worry to do in that regard. But don't worry. Now that I'm mentally rested after a quick power nap, I'll be more than able to make up for your many, many shortcuts. I'll keep telling you, servants don't need to sleep. Uh. By the way, Scout, Naomi, how are things uh, looking up ahead? This is the first point on the old man's map, but there's still a great deal of a labyrinth left to cover. So what are we going to do now? We're not. I have this all well in hand. Not that Lord Ephesus' presence is getting stronger, I should have no difficulty finding him. Call me. Okay. You know, we... I know we expect as much, but this Slammer is extreme one, isn't it? How are you holding up, Master? I have to stop and rest soon. <laughs> Give you your pendant for just forging ahead with no matter what. You really must be exhausted. Why don't we all take a break then? Here, Master. Just give me a moment to find a blanket to put down and you can sit. Your legs must be such a tired, huh? I'll just massage your calves for you. Uh, uh, I guess I'll stand around. Stand look up for now. <laughs> Are you gonna join us for the nice massage, Ricardo? Hey, Crawdy. When you're done massaging Master's likes, make sure to do mine next. Okay. Wait, I thought you were tired. No, no, I just want to feel relaxed. In that case, you can massage your own legs. Oh, very well. If you truly want one, you can oblige with a pressure point massage if you like. Great, I'll leave you to it then. Understood. Acupuncture it is then. Shit. Oh. Hmm. Well, it's not weird that service can build up an exhaustion to this degree. Here, here we go. Oh. Seems you have some a big of bad weather for that, and you really need to dig in. If I were try, if I were trying to gouge the pressure point right out of you. Uh, God, it's me. Here we go. Ah. Uh. I'm not really sure what the best thing to do here is. Please stop! I don't- I don't want to die! Right, that's what people are. This is gonna ruin a little bit. Uh, you mean everything up so stuff now was it supposed to? Yep. Oh! Ow. Ooh, you are desperate. Try to step everything, you nice little self. How about you, Master? What do you want me to? Yeah, fuck no. <laughs> like, I don't even know exactly where, but just picturing it and imagining like people needles being stuck in somewhere. Yeah. Ouch. Now, now, there's no need to be shy. That's not all, ah. Uh. Hey, master. What's the proper human? What's the proper human history mean? Oh, I mean, uh, a stereotype. It's actually kind of kind. Yeah, it's like a very gentle tie to uh, Ariel. I see. Uh, sorry about that. This doesn't quite line up with what I know about. Two. 
In some ways, he's just like a platonic ideal of a monster dwelling in the land. But ours, he's nothing like that at all. For better or worse, he's an archetype example of a tragic monster. If he had only been risen, if we all of his uh, so called monsters' qualities would have been made of a great hero. Ha! <laughs> I can practically taste that King Me is a sincere cowardice even now. He could have made Asterios into his most powerful weapon if he only played his car right. But say he left his spears gets better and ended up raising a great brew of a monster. Oh, that and the fact that he was a product of a, of basically his wife and his uh, favorite uh, bull. Pretty much that part for the course of the Cowardly Kings. As far as they're concerned, any ally who could simply take your throne from them is the enemy to be feared. Cut it out, Achilles. You're, you're very remind me of uh, the king, of a king just like that. I rather forget that man. By me, I just this, this is not to think about the one I knew either. All right then, no more king talk. I gotta say, being a hunter meant I never had to worry about kings. Yeah, man, that must have been nice. I'm kind of jealous. Since I had to choose to live on my destiny as a hero, the idea of uh, being a simple hunter is pretty much impossible to today. Especially since your destiny only lasted you about 10 years. Buzz off, I'm happy enough with all the things there's out. Really anything's off, are they? This is what happens when you have a bunch of cheery guys in one place. Honestly, if you ask me, you normally would be right there with them. You think? Definitely. <sighs> You know that your experience this man has made me realize how simplistically I used to think. I used to believe in the world was much more black and white. I thought defeat, defeating the place where I lived was good, and anyone who tried to destroy it was evil. And one says you're not wrong. Even animals will in strict protect your territory, attack whatever it friends it. I guess. But in the end, I was sentenced to die, and people thought me evil. Don't be an idiot. If you think you're evil, you should see what kind of villainy my ex-wife put me through. Hey, but do you put you through with all that shit because you put her through a lot of fucking bullshit, man. So, that's on you. Victims become victimizers. And victimizers become victims. It happens all the damn time. Yeah, and he definitely is speaking from experience. You can't let yourself worry about that sort of thing. We really want to be, actually want to be a hero. Is that really how it works? If you don't believe me, ask me what I was like in Orkeanos. Even with Medea tricking me, just the thought of what I did back there just as me up inside. Yeah, we say we're friends now. Friends? Seriously, you don't be ridiculous. I feel like you're the only bringing up worse memories for me. Thank you, everyone. I see... I still have a great deal to learn about things. Yeah, shall we get going? That's good, I'll be with you every step of way. Yeah. Okay, and we're on a very long section about I pull a poets in. Alright. Alright, now well, we're swishing Paris out. We need Gong. Oh, there he is. Section 16. Three headed dog. So we're facing this thing again. Great. More service. Oh, we're just jumping straight into now. Okay. Yeah, this is like a vacuum puncture, though. This remind me of like this one story I heard on the radio when my mom used to take me to Agatech. 
basically there's this uh, radio station, local one, and it had something called Go Figure, which is they talk about some weird and interesting things that happen in the news or over the country. And it's one lady just uh, goes there for an acupuncture appointment. And they put in the, like the needles and stuff in there, and they close the door and say, no, episode. And the doctor gets up to leave and uh, do stuff. It's like, oh, okay, uh, I guess he's busy or something. And then she goes to sleep, and then she wakes up, and uh, all of a sudden, it's like the middle of the night, and everyone's gone, so she carefully gets up, calls like uh, 911 about really fucking her back up and then they were able to get the needles out of her. So yeah. And uh welcome in uh Cog, how's it going? すまねえ、とも。我が行くは温州の彼方。あ、ペルサトティ。古め、いてつき、砕け散る時まで諦めることは許さんぞ。Oh, at least the good thing is, it looks like uh, we'll get Super Ryan Bun up uh, out here quick then, and then we can go straight to just doing broad service. Okay. Let's switch it up. This is just like all uh, sabers. We can do. Uh, let's do Valkyrie. Let's see. There is. There we go. There she is. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, hopefully, uh, after Wasp Ball uh, 5, they stop doing this. For like all future ones. Mere <laughs> Really hit that sky for some reason. By the way, uh, guys, what's your box goals uh, currently for Xmas event? I mean, what's the bridge we're gonna do? Like it doesn't, it doesn't. But I might go down a bit because really, all I'm just Finding out this is like blue gems if I'm getting out blue gem hell, but But plus the top of that moving situation too, so So I don't want to spend too much because back to it I'm trying to figure out or like trying to transfer out to like uh But yes Hopefully, have like some answers probably by this week, though. Oh, yeah, that's. I really need to get back to practicing using Buck Reborn. Okay, he's up. 
So just one more, and then we can finally put it in a bronze servant. Okay, now we're finally getting some dialogue here. Thank you. I mean, I don't mind just farming straight up, but... We made it. That was exhausting. What's with all those uh, defenses anyway? Maybe Hephaestus made them. In that case, they should have realized that we're all on the same size, damn it. Maybe they were bugging out for something, whatever. The important thing is we're here now. Hephaestus! Hephaestus system activated. Controller unit damage. Substitute AI activated. Forge unit activated. Master authorization, Draconis the Hawk. Dionysus, Achilles, severely, severe energy detected. Unstable, aborting plan. Yeah, that tracks, but I'm only, not the only option, Hephaestus. What about this guy? It's me, Hephaestus, oh god of the forge. I'm the greatest hunter in all Greece, the invincible Orion. Denied, Orion is not invincible. Searching for a true greatest hunter in Greece. Is it just me or is it just being really hard on me? Searching, 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 searching. Preparing qualification exam. Qualification exam. Initiating similar bow. Condition, only archers may uh, to participate. I see, so basically we got to win the simulation bow before you give us a defined construct. And Orion's the only one here, so we'll have to fight. Fight with me, Hephaestus. So who will I be fighting? You'll be fighting a servant who stayed mostly... who most closely approximates the armist of proper human history. Are you fucking serious? That's just Armus! That little guy on top is you, though. Yeah, you're a nice, cute, puppy tamer. <laughs> And of course, he's like giving us that look. That's me! Damn it! I can already tell this is gonna be a huge pain ass, but fine, I'll do it! Bring it on! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have fucking fun with this shit. <laughs> I can tell right now. Also, interesting enough, or. Armus' eye actually is wife, is actually one of his girlfriends, oh no. His wife actually, uh, got sent to, like... I think uh, she got sent to, like, the underworld, though, because she was kind of being a bit rude to, like, the gods. And then uh, you end up uh, having a lover with Armus. Oh no, she killed him. Because he was just being a bit uh, pompous, so. There we go. Yeah, you're not doing that. 
All right, we didn't get to like the joke one. So what I need to do is uh, build up uh, What I'm going to do is try to build up like the MP first and then uh, probably just put the heal after like the guts pop. Yeah, they just take damage after Okay. Okay, now we're gonna pop it. Wanga Shume, Skimming Amini Coining, Nick Tiny Goriki, Session Related to Arthur's. Okay, I really need to get used to like Orion is like very separately because I tried to do like MP after like the first bar drops. But uh, Ryan is like, uh, you just need to get like off as fast as possible. Okay. There we go. <laughs> there. Ah! Yo, baby. Uh, what the actual hell was that type here who just sounded like me laying up some extremely long death whale before vanishing? Yeah, definitely fit it. and cringy. <laughs> just a little hippie Olympian humor. Well, whatever program your so called sense of humor is clear with, we forgot to run the debugger. Second qualification in exam. Well, psychological assessment. Can you kill the one you love? I just did, didn't I? The one who was only a shadow. There may be differences between prop her proper human history and the one from the Lost Belt, but the question remains the same. Can you kill the machine, the goddess called Armus? I've asked myself that same question a whole bunch of times, and I can... Can I really go through with it? Can I really knock the arrow... an arrow to my bow, and aim it at her in the sky and let it fly? At first, I thought I couldn't. That's why I gave up on protecting it, proper human history for a while. But that's not the case anymore. That it is this, I realize that I will never be able to save her that way. I understand this is a lost spell. And I understand that the thing that's why you're up, up there, there isn't the Armus I know. So if she assists the car herself, Armus, that's enough reason for me to ask my life to stop her. But not, when I point my bow at her, I won't do it out of anger or hatred. It'll be out of pity. Tricot's talk, good question. 
Based on that answer, is Orion mentally capable of carrying the sex? Hell yeah, he can. Bring forth the divine crowd struck. You're up, Achilles. Got it. I don't know if this is if it's because of how I got it, but this armor always makes me feel like I'm wearing clothes my mother got me. Did your mother go to Ephesus and tearfully beg him to make an arm make it for you? Yeah, she did, and I do appreciate it along with the armor itself. What can I say? It's not always easy being a hero. Yeah, I could definitely say that. Your mother was the goddess, right? My mother's my mother, period. Huh, look at the big mama's boy. Uh. Wait, there's nothing wrong with having a good relationship with your parents, is there, damn it? He really contact us just to say that. <laughs> Forget you, Killies. This is Ferris we're talking about. There we go. Um, I guess it's a little rough with that. Oh, just a little weaker than I, when I gave it up. Nothing to worry about. I'm happy to give it all my armor if it helps take down the armors. Checking allies. Yes, I can reforge this. It's a proper human history defying construct. Reforcing process will take approximately two hours. That long, huh? So we got to hang out here and twill our thumbs for two hours? I'm going to take a nap. Again? I tried to think it was a little possible. You know I get so much miles out of one brain, you know. I guess that makes sense. Maybe it doesn't. Don't worry. I will never ask a, an obvious landmine like you to lead her, me into her lap for my nap. Wait, what did you really call me? A landmine? Why in the world would you think that? Experience, observation, and intuition. That might be a lot of explanation, not be a lot of explanation, but I totally get where he's coming from. I got plenty of good idea what he means to you, but I think it's better to keep it that to myself. A different note. Mash, don't forget the Theo's for me. All right, thank you for a reminder. Excuse me, Hephaestus, but could we ask you for some of your nanomachines as well? Worry, what is your intended use this room? I want to imbue them into Shadia's ship to Shadowbower. They will help me make it into a ship capable of going toe toe with a decent speed. Above all, one that can handle going up against Poseidon. With them, I'm certain the board can wholly be reborn. It'd be like an iron, iron steed swifter than a shout. Like a wild hunter that commands the storm itself. Users confirmed. Authorization granted. Ephesus. Rio Romania, now already ready for an atonement. Here, I'll store him in this extra large container Captain Nemo sent us. He temporarily came to announce that Zukasak is alive. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're gonna have to level up, fortunately, man. No atonements remaining. No, Ephesus, Germania remaining. Thanks, Match. Don't worry, I, this should be enough. So I'll be borrowing the power of Ephesus to guide the force to face my fire beside. I can't tell if that's irony, destiny, or both. Either way, with these, the Bora and I are going to change. And we are not going to lose next time. Don't worry, Captain Nemo. I promise to bring the Majesty's things back in safe and sound. You save it to Grail Merc. Oh shit. I know you will. Thanks. Alright. That reminds me. You have a minute. Richard Humi Chiyome. What, what is it about? I've got a secret to tell you. I saw you telling Karade about it before you. So. Oh, level 90. That's actually a pretty respectable number there. Probably about four grails at least. I should know because uh, I've grailed like one uh, four star up to 80 and then on top of that level 100 is for after the phase or wife you got it. Playing around like this with nothing to do is so boring. 
why don't you spend this time thinking about what you're going to do once you get once you got it? For me, all we know, we might have a fire right after we get out of here. Firing at Artemis from this island is not recommended. Why is that? An offensive mountain on her from nearby island failed. Every projectile disappeared from reaching her. The reason remains unknown. Disappeared before they could reach her, you say. That is worrying. I don't know if suppose you could provide us with a more, any more detail. There is a record from the past, officers regarding the incident. Alright, them. I've heard not seen their faces, but we could all use the information we get. No SFSS. Viewing conditions met. Uploading holographic data, analyzing paywall. I commend you all for making this so uh, far. Now, getting down to business. It's not our last recording number. A number of new servers have joined. Yes, but even more of, of us have been killed. Many, uh, many of those that failed had hands at Emini, Alter Ego, Sinchi Murasa, Kumote Kure. Unfortunately, they weren't able to get any combat data on them. My only advice is to be wary of their strength. Well, we're just one more level, and then we have to put in uh, put in the point rewards for ascending her. Don't worry about our sacrifices. There's nothing you can do about them anyway. For the moment, if some of us are still alive, I consider it a victory. Like, I like you to do the same. That's right. We're still uh, kicking and ready to help you, Manny. So don't worry about us, Shania. We know how what we signed up for. Moving on, take a look at the day about to send you. Time says the last recording we too had a run in with the moon guys this arm is scan. Okay, yeah, let's see uh, what uh This is game dangerously too close for comfort. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. If we happen to be spread out all the at a time, and if Hercules hasn't been there, she would have easily wiped us all out in an instance. No, that isn't quite right. We had a sermon with us who realized what was happening before the rest of us. You're talking about blank, right? Of course he does. After all, he's I cover up his name just in case. At any rate, we just barely managed to make it out of here with a minimal loss. It's enhancing our cooking function. After that, or our missus began scanning this island, disabling communications for a short time. Huh? Hey, what's going on? Hello, can you hear us? Please come in. There's no response. Maybe we've been cut off. Well, no need to worry about that. You did say it's only for a short time. Professus, I'll proceed to the next answer once you confirm that the communications have been disabled. Huh? Confirm, communications now disabled. What I'm about to tell you now has nothing to do with the Atl Atlantic God spell. Not this is certain, but I feel like I'm part of you are told regardless. Do you feel as though there's anything off right now? Not in any of you, but your current situation? Of course I know that the circumstances are extremely dire right now. There's no doubt about that. But the dark starts to ask something feeling off isn't the same thing. Look at closely at everyone's faces. Listen this to what they say. You may feel though it's wrong to suspect your companions, but you shouldn't. Trusting others is unquestionably isn't a virtue. It's just sticking your head in the sand. So suspect everyone, even your allies, who, who you trust with your life. And while I trust and it goes without saying, keep this between us, please. This is alone this probably won't be enough to assure you about doubts about shutting off the comms, so I also provide you two pieces of game of information. First for chance our mutual destination, Olympus. Specifically, the route for a gain there. And the second part pertains to Artemis. We preferred a few d different experiments out, and it's clear that she's the PPR beyond us. We all tried our no fans as designer. Not a single one of them came close. 
And it wasn't only because of the distance. Our attacks disappeared on their way to her. It says, even possible to reach her. It might be only be from an island situated directly beneath her. So close and... We're so close to getting excited. <laughs> well, let's just say... I guess things are definitely getting interesting for this month. This is one of the places where you might be able to strike back. I'll send you to island scoring this too. Over and out. We're assuming communications. Oh, I know you meant uh, J6. Phew, there you go. What in the world just happened? The files look okay, but did anything happen while we were off hunt? Well, we did get our hands on some valuable information, but it's mostly just pointless shit chat. We talked about the differences between gods and the humans of philosophical qualities, and some are crap things, and at least a bit helpful in the sooner situation. I guess the Pestis is actually more desperate to, for a company to let on. There, I've given you a pleasurable cover up. You guys sit, can take over here. This sounds like a Shadia problem. You still gonna kill something? Well, uh. Lyrus are coming up, so we should get to kill like a lot of mobs. Just try to be easy on the Dadaroos. Then don't you know, to read the book before doing that. Just make sure you keep your story straight, guy. One useful thing we learned about it. I mean, I could probably see what you mean there, Jake. Useful thing we learned was this route to take us Olympus. Another was uh, some information we need to attack Armus. Let's let me see the map. That class it looks like Joseph and Bussi are out the Great Pit, and it, where the tree up in this lies. So it seems like you should be able to reach it from anywhere. In fact, thanks to Poseidon's control over the ocean, Chris, there's only one route you can get, take to get there. And take it that route, there's only one island you have to cast off from. Nemesis Island. Oh god, we're going, going to that one, aren't we? The one that basically caused the death of uh, of uh, Narcissus too. The I want to say about the goddess of retribution is both uh, the starting point in her journey to Olympus and the Street of Ipnus. And that last step of the quest to destroy Armus. So we have to get to Nemesis Island. I see. This is your area of expertise, Captain. What do you think? Hmm. Well, the sea is supposed to be free. Usually it doesn't belong to anybody. It's, a, it's the name of a significant character in uh, Three Houses. Yeah, also it's like the name of like uh, the boss in uh, Resident Evil 3. But if you want to restrict the past to be able to on the sea, ruling currents and uh, be sure to do I do it. Yeah, Gods of Revenge. However, this is the new information also points out the unfortunate, extremely pertinent fact. Right, as if that is true, this is no possible way of escaping the Odysseus army. Not when they already know exactly where we've been, we'll be headed. So our quest is to kill Armus to get down Tree of Happiness, because we have to go to Nemesis Island. All Odysseus has to do is wait for us with an army. Damn it, no wonder they haven't been putting more effort than lucky for us. As far as the DC is concerned, we're not on the open seas. We are stuck in an infantry of a restricted fortress. There's all sorts of indifferent uh, seas out there, but this is the guy that I hate the most, such as I can only believe the legend about the Greek they being red. Well, then again, back in ancient Greece, they couldn't even see the color blue. It's like took a while for like thousands of years until our eyes could actually adapt and actually uh, see the actual color blue. Let's see if I make sure to understand you properly. We cannot keep running away from Odysseus. The only way we can get past him is to go through him. But there's no way, earthly way we can do that, right? Also the final boss and the golden deer root. Well, the sword and the main character gets called the sword of the career. That's actually pretty interesting. Remember, it's not just the Jesus army you have to worry about. It's also Ornimus. Orion may be able to hit with a new bow and arrow, but only if we have focused the target on that. But 
If it's the only way to do so from the island of Odysseus and his army skirt, then we have to do something to fight his army and let our... Orion focus on killing Armus. And that all is a... all but impossible. Warning. Warning. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. What? The point of defensive measures is to manipulate the fat. Error. Activating a trap of barriers. One for three. The point. Make him counter attack system. It's a sword ship. Sword. Oh, sword whip. Oh, that's kind of cool. Kind of like uh, the one that uh, Seraphinus uses, if I remember right. Command counter attack. It stops the Sperry 1 deployed. It stops the Sperry 2 destroyed. Approximate time to stop the Sperry freeze destruction 2 seconds. Approximate time until a tree reaches a almost simple 10 seconds. Here it comes! Oh, uh, Sailor uh, Venus. What? Oh, it is here! You got Bikimi. What the hell did they put in this thing from? Right, the ancient data. I can't believe it, it gave birth to creatures like this. It's got freeze heads, ah. Uh. <laughs> that's it, that's the thing that I talked just back when you first came to this last bout. Well, what in the world is it? Never watched it, I mean, it's actually kind of fun, although the transformations are a bit corny. Something, any figure from Greek mythology would recognize in a heartbeat. We hit it. Do guard dog from hell. Tempest upswing of the injured data. And also the guardian of uh, the underworld. Jay, it's going after a fastest master. We gotta keep him safe no matter what. This thing gets through. That's it. It'll be all over for us. Come on, let's go. Oh god. <laughs> it's like the dialogue was so long. I didn't even. Oh no. Speaking of which, where's Titty Wu at? Titty Wu. Oh, Titty Wu. There she is. Yeah, I forgot it was. It's like, the that was so long that I didn't even think we were actually fighting. It was like, I was why I was on a 0 AP node. But yeah, Jake, it's like. Some of the characters for Sailor Moon is actually very good. Especially, uh, Sailor Saturn. She's like... Definitely a Dara Moon material. And then she has, like, three parents, which are actually... Her, her papa, and then... Who's, uh, Sailor Uranus, and then there's, uh, two mamas, which are basically, uh... Uto and also uh, Neptune. Okay. We could go. You did to you. Uh, not exactly. They're actually named after the planets of the solar system, uh, J6. I mean, we have Sarah Mercury, we have Sarah Mars, and then, uh, oh, okay. Aww, she actually looks so cute. You see Crystal Gears just watch the show? Oh, thank you. What the fuck? Did this thing just gain invincibility? At the end of each turn? What the fuck is this bullshit? Oh. Good. Jackie says no. Oh, just one hit. Okay. What 
There he seal and that to boost MP. Oh, yes, guts. Jack in that comment. But Jackie's cute. Okay, finish it. Then finish this, Jackie. Yeah, this is just, first is just excuse me, she has a melt for her. Let's see your art. But Jackie's more cute to me. And plus she was like Dutteru before Kama became a thing. Alright. Come on, game, let me. There we go. And now we are basically have to use the Apple file. <laughs> it's like, what, five streams of this? And now we get to use Apple. The plus comment starts to say, I'll read What more can you ask for? I mean, I guess, but the thing is, it's like, I don't know if I can say I'm a Dairu, though. It's like, actually, she's Dairu all around. I'm, I can, like, hip hop like, all her sessions. Although, for certain sessions, I'm, like, saying she needs to wear proper pants. Sorry, I wish there was something I could do to help. Allies, could please. Well, got anything more for us besides the strong? I mean, it has with uh, Demeter Mania. They're specialized in self duration Oh, it's like the guys which was that my middle name is after. Okay. Demeter is the guys of a harvest and arc recursion, right? Damn it. No wonder this thing's so tough. Demeter is in charge of the travel supply circulation. She is possessed all matter of refutes. Impurities and waste and good air consists definitely recycling any resin them. This enables her to make 1,000 year, years worth of uh, supplies. Last approximately 4,000 years. 4,000? Goddamn. I appreciate the knowledge and respect, but none of them matters right now. Festus, is there anything you can do to help us here? Negative. Building a defined cross stock is my full concentration. So much for that, idea, damn it. Hey, I'm a hunter. I'd take it out of the dangerous beasts I think. If I could just lure a little closer, I could take care of them. Put me in, Master. You won't regret it. We won't regret it. Okay, we have two super rhymes here. Actually, I was, okay, he's almost up. Okay, now I need to replace him with... Uh, Oh, we're gonna do waiver and then we're also gonna do Merlin. Mira, 
You uh, get on me for using the incorrect waiver. Let me guess, the reverse is more adult version. Oh, he's gonna do this fucking bullshit. I see. Oh, he sealed him. Fuck. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Where was one of the few good pro tags of Zero? Yeah, it was. Along with his, uh, along with Prior. Although, I still want to see right. Like Iskandar versus Bill Clinton. Like, I'm still. Like, ever since I. Seen that one scene where I basically called Bill. Bill Clinton? Yeah, because Iskandar said that basically this Clinton guy is definitely would be an admirable foe. It was like. I'm amazed no one's actually made an animation. Trying to make an animation of that. It's like, oh, like, what do we have to do? Like, yeah, uh, probably like a lot of research have to be put in to see, like, put in like the, like the, the book of the military is like crime rule and stuff. Well, plus, uh, to make it more fair, I guess, for Iskandar, we'll give, we'll give him his like, 30 uh, B2 bombers. Waver, Iskandar, and Lancer are the only pro tags you like to zero. What about Saber, though? Must be boring and then interesting. Yeah, J6 would probably agree with me on there.
Okay, target one. Okay, time to end this annoying. This is a friendly question? Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, he has a I'm just built different. Be a badass, love you, don't interest you, don't fancy. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised I haven't got his uh, secret MP yet, too. Alright, nine. <sighs> Got to when you did this fight. The princess entered it, its combat form. We believe we should capture the enemy shortly. Good. The set is Demeter Romania to go haywire in five minutes. We'll use that to overload its regenerative functionality and make it explode, blowing up the entire temple. Are you sure about this, sir? I'm sure about what? Don't you think the using a dynamic beast is powerful enough to hold back up? That fast ship just to make it less than an M 10 soldiers as wasteful? Yes, sir. Perhaps. But my objective is to eliminate any possibility of their survival. Come to think of it, the report included her name along with the M D ranks in it. Yes, sir. Hmm, I guess that makes that this fate. Even if the operation fails, we'll be able to smoothly transition to the next one. I'm not sure what's funny is Ar Armus breaking Orion's neck or shooting this Ibaraki as a suicide bomb. <laughs> Almost there. Well, this banana is happy though. Eh. Even though it is a bit more brood. Alert. Demeter Grumenia has begun to go haywire. What do you say? I said we need to get this fucking thing out of here. The serial interface confirmed. Run! Oh, this just means to have the serpent go berserk. What? Regenerative function overall detected. Emily will waste map person 10 seconds. Map person, just forget berserk. Keep pressing to pull up the whole sky on sky high. Damn it, why does the DCs have to be so good at over covering their spaces? Well, what if I have a bow and arrow? Time to completion, three minutes. Damn it, we can't t t wait that long. Uh, the fuck? Please move aside. Rade? Here comes the reason why you, you level the shoots his first skill to Rade. Please move aside. I can't handle the, the, that diamic beast. This pure media. Maximum power. They, Ray, this is tough, they. Oh, sorry, I apologize for my poor French. I literally.
No way, she wiped him out like it was nothing. I can't believe it. Did you just say Zeus Herminia, Charlotte Rade? Yes, I did. I finally remember everything. I am a heroic spirit for proper human history who was summoned here. As the last belt servant. Okay, this is getting interesting. Alright. I'm gonna use the restroom and then we will begin to fight. Be right back. Okay, I'm back, morals. Now it's time to begin this quest. Section 17. In a sunset red as blood. I remember the the crept old machines along the great trees at Followed them up. I remember the sunset that dyed everything with a pale red tint. I was summoned in answer to the chants of prayers. I was immediately recognized that something was off. So it worked. So she is the uh, was the servant that we saw at the beginning that was summoned. First we draw the proper human history spell on top of the ley line, then assign the studio command cell. Not a very cost effective process. Much easier to get the numbers we need by turning the Atlantean services into soldiers. Where am I? Wait, who am I? I know nothing. I can't figure out what's going on. I know for sure that I am a very dangerous situation. Are you my master? Yes, I am. From here on, you will dedicate your body, life, and your skills to Olympus. Down to your very last drop of blood. It is a, through the servitude that your life will have meaning. Um, what do you mean by that? If this is beyond your comprehension, your only task is to die. So we, a steely man spoke quietly, but his words carried unsmakable fury. Yes, master, my life is yours to command. What is your true name? Carbet Rade. I see, the French Revolution's angel of assassination. Perhaps you repress this here is because I killed Chevrier Dion and Charles and Ressanson. The blood of your French compatriots must have acted as your catalyst. The kind of executioner you kill him? He does not. That's an answer. My entire body feels heavier than weight, unbearable revolution. I have used his lay 
this light line to summon you, but I have no ex expectations of from you whatsoever. The sole purpose of coming here is to exhaust this light line's magical energy. There's nothing you can do to aid me. I have no need of you, you need of your loyalty. For such dull passions were sting me like hot, white hot needles. We've conferred that the light line spun out of control and suffered irreparable damage, sir. No one will be able to summon any more service from this one. Nonetheless, now that our fates have been tied together, I must give you some sort of order. I can't have you wandering around aimlessly when you do, don't belong here. I guess I'm not. I'm going to be kicked out since I have no place for me here. I resist the urge of a very un form a very uncertain like self creeping inside. The order is to this: forget about us. From here on, the Zeus media will guide you. Guide me? You are now just a double rogue servant. All you need to do from here is suppose. Uh, that's like to others. However, did the, did the, the merchants decide you encounter any enemy got an enemy got something? You will be served as a a beacon. That is only which you will might possibly be of use for me. Your actions will not be driven by your forgotten layers of memory, but by the Zeus media that has been embedded into your ID. What's the Zeus media within you has before you activate? That will be the end. This is the only role I have for you, my servant. Information on Sans are supporting my brain, even though its memory being summoned disappear. All I could do is resist it was scream. When it was all over, all I left was my plain, ordinary, utterly useless self. Huh? Does this mean I was summoned? I am a servant of proper human history. Your name is Charlotte Crawday. I was summoned to greet lost spell so I could. Well, I'm not sure why I was summoned, but I still have to do the best I can. There's always a strange fog hanging over the corner of my mind. It was there back then. And then. And then. And then. And then. And then, there was always something that felt off. Now that I remember what happened, it was so obvious. Which is simple truth. Alright. Alright. Stay back. You will get, you, you get just to me, I, I, I won't be able to take it. Don't go near her, Tricoss Hawk. This green media activates. Spiritual orbs collapse in a minute. After spiritual orbs is supposed to step and fall apart. It's why not with fast energy. I can't handle the so strange. She's like a balloon full of hostility that's about to pop. She's aiming it right at us. Just one thing after another. Yeah. I can sense it too. But is it from Karate? This the the merge. It would seem that this green media inside has begun to take control. Hey, huh? Um, Hey, a master of Shadia. You need to finish her off. Otherwise, you'll just make her suffer. What a pow, that's... You stay back, Drakasak. I'll take it for uh, care of it. You don't have to get give it an or. Please, I can't hold out any longer. I'm about to lose cautious. First things first, we need to stop her. Everything she can else can wait until after that. Come on, take up your weapons. Okay. And you, hey, Sniper, how's it going? Also, shout out to Azure Sniper. He's a fellow member of the Kong Kong Button guys. He does, uh. And it's gonna take me a while to get the Yakuza. He does, he does uh. Rhythm games and music games. Oh, what the hell, man? He also does uh, some uh, community Please, nights with Mario Kart. Sure yeah, yeah. The weekend's ending. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. The weekend's ending. Well, thankfully, it's like for me, it's just three days, and then I get basically till my Friday. So, 
Okay, where's Caster at? Caster shooting. Family starting to come this week as well. Oh, nice. Uh, hope you have a good one. Uh, you and your family have a good time. And yeah, that's okay, uh, Sniper, I mean, family comes first. Okay, now, Trickster, I don't know if you're still here, but looks like I am using the, the correct waiver now. This, this is uh, Fragment's uh, waiver. Thank you, Witch. She's probably still online and uh, doing up to you, I'll probably the correct waiver. Increase the critical right. Yeah, I don't think I need to use that yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like Miss Fragments. It's like she loved Waver until Dolman came in, and now she's like big for Dolman. Like she's just showing, it's basically like the Copa, Copa Dolman for her. So, this is a caster of uh, Limbo. So. It's a tor too notorious for a request. Yeah, I need to figure out what to do for the free quest. Ah, off by a couple percent. Okay. One of them is a uh, circus, so you try to use as many extra class service as you can. Gotcha. Yeah, what well, especially helps too is uh. Probably helps too is like yeah, probably the foreigners as well. <laughs> Speaking of extra class, hopefully I can actually roll for Yang uh, when she first comes out. I mean, that all depends like if I can get this uh, transfer thing, but it sounds like uh, from when I talked to like one of the. Well, Walmart's, it's like, yeah, they're like pretty much taking everybody, so. Who's an AoE foreigner if you have one? Well, I think she does come back, so. Well, plus we are getting an AoE uh, foreigner for 4.5, so. All right, hang on. Yeah, can you please hit, uh... Thank you! No. Oh. Oh, now you give me more. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, four, lost about four point five is where we get we get Van Gogh. So. Oh, 
Okay, please do not hit Shujin. Do not hit Shujin. Do not hit Shujin. Okay, you can't get in. Hit Merlin. Hit Merlin. <laughs> That's not a last spell. Yeah, I thought it was listed as 4.5. But maybe it is a last spell, but not in the traditional sense. Okay. Okay, I'll probably have to check that later. There you go, Jake. <laughs> Your favorite death scene. Because it covers events after LB4, but your card. Yeah, that's kind of bizarre. You think it would require LB1? I mean, L I mean LB4. Fuck. I'm getting confused here. Okay, let's see if we can get Banana to show up. Oh. Maybe Banana is still recharging. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is horrible. We need a finish. I'm gonna put an hour for mystery. That's all we could do for now. Wait. Huh? Orion? Broad day. Let me make sure I understand what's going on. This is all happening because the Sus Crimenia is inside you is acting up, right? Yes, that's right. But do you think you can hold on just a little bit longer? Huh? No, I can't. I just. It's just too, too faster. I'll be really easy to put out of busy right now. All I have to do is smash your spirit core. But are you really okay with that? No way. Was it? Yeah. Hopefully, they'll find a way to make it so that way we can actually charge her without like the demerit. Then, what do you suggest we do instead? We force the. This Cremenia to shut down. Hephaestus! Can you use your Hephaestus Cremenia to disable Zeus's Cremenia? Yes. But they cannot remove him. It would also need the, the Athena Cremenia to do that. Recent the target spiritual origin, and this is a crime to states to induce. Hold up! Hold up. We are supposed to use the Cremenia to enhance the border. What you're proposing here doesn't make any sense. Exactly! Even if the lie of all the contributions you made, it's clear that reinforcing the board should be our top priority. I understand how you feel, but you won't be able to do her any favors by wasting individual invaluable resources on a fool's errand. Investors, there's gotta be a way to make this work, right? 
Which I wasn't you. I've always said something. First, acquire Athena Cremenia. Then re extract the Festus Cremenia to use again. Let me be sure I understand you. You propose that we first use the Festus Cremenia to free Shara's Project Spiritual Origin. From there, we eject her with Athena Cremenia, then re extract the Festus Cremenia. Correct. I'll be blunt. Do we really, in your view, have time to do such links to essentially use it, use the spot? I'll figure it out. I'll make I'll make it work. But we don't even know where the, these Athena Cremenia are. Then according to this Athena Cremenia now. You know there's no such thing as being too compatible. Well no, they appear to be on their side. Which is just this off the coast of Nemesis Island, at least on our way. Please, no. <laughs> Please. Not being useful as much, baby, but I can't take it knowing I was striking all down. Master, now it's the time to decide. Yes, how could, can you? I know, Mercado, but fact is that the living have the right to decide what to become of the dead. Now that's good. What's that gonna be? Use an honor. <laughs> yeah, I get got it. I just said. Please don't. I don't have to do this for me. How can we call ourselves hero if we can't save one person in trouble? That's about to summon up. Don't worry about it. Once you're out there, you can pay us back by saving your, us yourself. I can't save you. I can't save anybody. I'm just. Then don't worry about that, Ivor. We're just gonna go save you because it feels better that way. You're all really re unreasonable creatures, aren't you? Damn it, I can't believe Achilles and I feel the same way about something. On second thought, if Paris is good with it, and that's good enough for me. Thank you, Alfred. Think you can do a step aside for a moment, thanks? I don't think there's much nice to say into here, but what was worth? You're certain you won't regret this. You got so I'm fine with it. Bringing ours down is awful. But anyway, in some ways, it's a lot worse than that. Yeah, I'm always being biased here. That really loves them. Then again, did, did Apollo, uh, forget, was Apollo the one that basically uh, swing both ways? If you catch my drift, uh, can't make you want to drown your sorrows and booze or endings together. Okay, that explains things because yeah, he's definitely into, as a thing for uh, Paris, however, I'm still on the captain of the ship, and I'm not gonna let any of my crew take an easy way out. So you're not gonna, so you're gonna help us hoist the sails, raise the anchor, and conquer the sea with anger and laughter alike. Because you're an Argonaut. That's what we do. I crew of Captain Jason. As long as they look nice to him, he's uh, set. They're not very good at socializing at heart, honestly. It's I miss it up, but that's nothing to do with my principles. And one of the Captain Nemo's principles is, is there's some some in front of you that can help the help a period. Uh, I swear this whole lie you find you win. For God's sake, you have to your permission to save Charlotte Karate. So save her already. Thank you, director. <laughs> no, seriously, hurry up before I change my eye. I can't bear to watch this any longer. Please help me. Right. Here's the Festus Criminia. Recommend interest this this ejection. Yeah. Uh. So we're just putting her in a temporary corner. Spiritual origin for us is this criminia progen halted. What's Krata doing? First she collapsed and now she appears to be sinking. I will carry her. It would not be right to ask Master Lee, Master, any of the male servants to do so. Go for it. Not to worry, her breathing is strong and steady. But please, focus your attention on the weapon. Good point! We got caught up in that. How's, uh, how's my bow coming along, you bastards? The five scratch strike reforging complete. As a compound bow decided to solely for use against interstellar fighters, I call it. The Inge Ingus Eclipse. Come 
Casey. Maple! I can't believe you put together a weapon so powerful as the anti fortress noble fantasy so quickly. Well done. Well, he is still the god of forge, even without his brain. Where you go, Ephesus? Oh, right. I forgot. You hate me. Affirmative. So, with a bow like this, I think we have the real shot of being Armas. When I was alive, I once got my hands on the legendary sacred sword of Dur Brunel, said to be the greatest sword that ever exists. And it feels like this bow is just a as powerful. Oh, yeah! Did stop uh, with the praise out. That's my old armor you're talking about, after all. That part I don't like. Come on, guys. Can you at least be trying to be, be a little grateful? Let's see, it looks like I got two arrows. Oh, wait, two. I thought we told the Festus to make at least five. If it's even one shot now, what are we done for? Don't worry. There's no way I'll miss. That's exactly the sort of arrogance that leads to screw ups. Ah, uh, damn it. Unfortunately, this is the best I could do with the materials available. Too bad I don't have a shield with me. I'm sure that would have made you more. One arrow must eliminate armors and specimens. A must must destroy your main unit. Yeah, I think I can make that work. You know, you really only got one shot of both, right? Don't worry, I'm the greatest hunter in the Greece that's ever seen, remember? Requ requesting the wheel to form a final test. Right. Can't use the real arrows now, of course. So I have to try a little different one. Uh, uh, uh. Well, it won't be easy, but it looks like I manage it. Excellent. Then from here on, only a matter of time, a matter of where I can fire accurate at the target. Not quite. It's also a matter of what's going to happen my spiritual origin afterwards. Do you screw me or not? I, I can tell fire news arrows is going to take one hell of a troll. Good. Now we finally have the weapon we need to destroy the moon guys. And the archer who can wield that. All that's left now is... Oh, come on. Warning, Armas has begun raining your cannon. Recommend taking a media shelter. Repeat. Me recommend taking a media shelter. Oh, come on again, Armas. Recommend taking a media shelter. I recommend taking a media shelter. My current defense system is going to withstand this attack. Take the civ civilian emergency escape pod. I've already said it to your ship's organist. Go! The species is gonna blow this higher, Iowa Sky High? Correct. What? Since you made a defined construct on this island, that would mean almost all your primary unit would have been here too. Correct. What does it mean? It means that the end of the is Paris. The simulation is both ac inaccurate and inappropriate. You would explain more accurately, I will disappear. Although there's another separate of my units, which remains on Olympus along with. Shut up! No wonder Aphrodite is always cheating on you, green uptight kid. Look away from your force. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is taking a bit too far, Apollo. Especially since Abessus actually deserved more than, than Aphrodite. And yes, I am saying it. He deserves more. He serves a woman much better than the, like, the so called guys of love. That seems more than a little uncalled for. I even, yeah, even the killers agrees with me here. I don't know any, anything about her. I don't care. My, my mating unit was the first one I got rid of. I can see why. <laughs> Do you know we might end up uh, fighting her in the this, right? We choose a different path, so as much as it pays to be said. Then you do feel pain about it. Yeah, at least much fucking better than Ares. And I, I gotta say, I still am laughing at the trap he set up for Ares and also Aphrodite. Drunk him up in a net and am all but naked to, exp to display to the other Olympians. Then I said that for God. <laughs> oh, you bet yeah, I will. Alright then, I'll see you around the Festus, even if the, in this lost boat, you're still the same old you. Farewell, Apollo from Popper Human History. You were. Good for just a little here as you were there. Go, proper human minister. Go put, put the bro back as it should be. Larry of Ephesus. <sighs> escape pod activate. Initiating acceleration. Chances of escape 78%. Chances of eradication 70%. Defense system online. Initiating attack target 
on inorbital space. Failure. According to brain theory calculations, the chances of proper humanistic survival are surviving a lepus are 5.6%. A coming report for communications unit. If so, our fight armors is initiating a call. Why? Hey, I've got huge news. What is it? An open such that Lady Armist is gonna fire one of her arrows here. Really? Did the gods have fired come for us? Go go tell her we can finally see about setting off. I knew it was no point having these communications features. How could there be nobody when nobody ever uses? Maybe I should have used back then if I realized they were 300 years ago, but now? Hey. Hey, good. It's uh, good news. What is it? You yeah, love this! Lee Armis is gonna show us some affection! We'll finally get to leave for Olympus. I see, so time time's would come. Yeah, I can't wait. The whole village is already gathered out on the village coast. Are you going to do it too? No, that's okay. I prefer to cup the old hole in my mind. Okay, suit yourself. Bye. Hmm. Well, I suppose this is just the way life goes. Next time around, I hope to be born as a human closer to the gods. Oh, poor old man. Oh, Armas! Oh, great Armas! Goddess of the moon! Destroyer of the stars! Please, bathe us in your glorious life. Please, take us away from your sins. As I saw potential of proper human history. Reason. Our duty is to help make the future as bright as possible. So you're okay with Su hey, Zeus is wrong? I mean, Zeus is always fucking wrong all the time, most of the time. That's why the heroes rejected you. The very fact that he Heroes of proper human history. Don't think your side is evidence that oh, for why our history was denied. Negative. They're only afraid of dying. Humans fear death above all else. Why would you do anything to prevent it? That's partly correct. Most humans, most life forms fear death. They squander their short lives, unable to endure the attention. Then it plain emptiness. There is no area for which humans surpass gods. However, there is our times when being he only slightly superior to humans managed to overcome that hurdle. Where it be knowledgeable strength or mentality or something else. These beings take up weapons because there is something they fear more than, than their deaths. We call these beings heroes and they are ex have not existed among us for too long for too long. Incorrect. I disagree with everything you have to say. This time I will destroy you utterly. Accept this death willingly. We were the one one to begin with, and we will eventually be one again. After my next message, I will reject all future communication reject requests. Perish. And there goes that island. I'm gonna call it here guys but well, stick around we will find someone to raid uh let's see it's on right now hmm okay let's see Oh, the, I think I'll uh, read to uh, this Am I Tall guy because he's actually kind of pretty chill. He's someone I recently rated like a while back ago. But yeah, also guys, uh, just so you know, 
There is uh, someone that's also going to be uh, having a karaoke party. He does play. Uh, He's also going to be having like a karaoke. I think tomorrow as well, and he also plays FGO, so... Oh, miss misspelled him. Sorry about that. There we go. But yeah, he's a fellow con company. I think he's going to be having it uh, in about uh, 24 hours from now. But yeah, he's going to be karaoke along with some friends. We also play Is SSDO. That... I am okay with becoming a meme. But yeah, we're going to... But anyway... We're gonna raid, uh, this, this, we're gonna be raid, thank you J6, we're gonna be raiding at my tall, he's a very chill guy, from uh, what I can tell, and also he's like fishing up a uh, Lost Belt, Lost Belt 5, it looks like he's at the end, but anyway morals, I'll see you guys back on Thursday for Xmas, I might end up uh, doing something similar like I did back for Oniland, playing like a game along with 50 to make it kind of interesting but anyway have a good one and good luck for saying your laws and uh, also finishing up lb5 you have it this is your demon lord your kind of socks sign out and have a good one